welcome to Travel NFX. Holy crap! Eight of the weirdest toilets in the world. 2016 marks the 180th anniversary of the birth of Thomas Crapper, a pretty famous plumber who invented the modern day toilet, including the ballcock and the siphonic flush mechanism. What better excuse then to marvel at some of the world's weirdest places to spend a penny, from a mountain top hut in Switzerland to lip shaped urinals in a Paris hostel? Take aim, and don't forget to wash your hands. All and public toilets. Orland, Norway. This beautiful public toilet block was designed by Norwegian architects Todd Saunders and Tommy Wilhelmsen. Enormous windows provide spectacular views of Fjordane, one of the larger fjords on the west coast of Norway. Luckily, the building's position, perched on the edge of a sheer cliff, means that privacy is still guaranteed. Gramazio Cola Public Toilet, Ulster, Switzerland. The team at Switzerland-based architects Gramazio Cola breathed new life into the humble toilet block when they created this beautiful restroom, which can be found in the lakeside Swiss town of Ulster. The exterior walls consist of bright green folded aluminium strips, and the building looks most spectacular on summer days, when sunlight reflects off the metal and creates a shimmering effect. Lip-shaped urinals, St. Christopher's in Paris, France. These lip-shaped urinals belong to St. Christopher's in a trendy youth hostel close to Paris's Gare du Nord train station. They were manufactured by Bathroom Mania, a Dutch company specializing in quirky bathroom decor. And there's obviously high demand for this kind of thing, because another set of pouting urinals can be found at the nearby Belloshi's bar. Hunderfossen Toilet, Hunderfossen Waterfall, Norway. Without meaning to be crude, there are certain advantages connected with a public toilet located meters away from a deafening waterfall. The Hultfossen Waterfall can be found near Ford, an area famous for having Scandinavia's sunmost wintertime snow hotel. This particular toilet's a pretty rough and ready job, although we love the thoughtful addition of a tiny heart-shaped window. Lops to lose, Wellington, New Zealand. When these New Zealand public toilets were unveiled locals immediately started referring to them as Lops to lose, much to the chagrin of the people who'd commissioned the building. Brett Thurston is the man behind these designer dunnies, and his winning design was chosen from 28 entries. The toilets are also pretty indestructible, they're made from concrete and lead and have a unique anti-graffiti coating. Giovanni Segantini Hut, Langard Alp, Switzerland. When it comes to a loo with a view, this patriotic potty gets the gold medal. Teetering on the side of Switzerland's Langard Alp, the remote Segantini Hut is a toilet worth holding out for. It was named after Austrian artist Giovanni Segantini, who was a fan of the stunning view and who died days after making a final visit to this particular spot, the mountain, not the toilet. Pod Toilets, Sketch London, UK The Pod Toilets at Sketch London, otherwise known as one of the capital's coolest bars, might well resemble dinosaur eggs, but they're actually incredibly high-tech, when you enter, you'll be greeted by the soothing soundtrack of nature documentaries. However, it's not all about modernity. The toilets are kept immaculately clean by a team of frilly pinafore-wearing French maids, Porcelain House Toilets, Tianjin, China The walls of this beautiful Chinese toilet are covered in pottery. There are vases, tiles, plates and cups, and even the signs denoting male, female and disabled toilets have been painstakingly crafted from tile fragments. The building can be found in the northern city of Tianjin, on the grounds of the Porcelain House, a contemporary museum of pottery and antiques. Thanks for watching Travel NFX.